Hey guys, happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, welcome back to day number five of Everyday Faith. And today we have a quote from author and researcher Brene Brown. And uh, the quote says this, owning our story can be hard, but not nearly as difficult as spending our lives running from it. I'm going to read that again because it's so good. Owning our story can be hard, but not nearly as difficult as spending our lives running from it. Now, I've got to admit, I'm a huge Brene Brown fan. I've been reading her work for, for several years, and if you don't know, she is a, a clinical researcher by profession, which then led to her taking her research and putting it in papers, and, and then that kind of led to this process of, of writing about books. She's a researcher about shame, and her research in shame led her to produce or write works, books, and, and theses on vulnerability. And she's got a ton of books out there, um, Daring Greatly, uh, you know, um, Rising Strong, she's got... Uh, Braving the Wilderness, you know, like a handful of books that you can read. She has a Netflix special. Uh, maybe many of you have watched that. You can watch that on Netflix if you're a Netflix subscriber. Um, but she has a, a ton of information and resources about our stories and, and how there's so much shame that infiltrates our stories. And then we're afraid to share those things. We're afraid to speak those things. And so this quote, when she speaks about owning our story can be hard, but not nearly as difficult as spending our lives running from it. She's writing that from the perspective of a researcher who's observed and witnessed uh, and studied people who either own their stories, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or those who run from their stories. And what she's saying is that those who own their stories, all of it, you know, those people are better off than the people who spend their lives running away from it. And, you know, my hope is that as a community, we can kind of find the courage and the strength and the resolve together uh, to own our stories collectively and then move forward together versus being the type of community that's like, well, I'm afraid or I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to be an outcast or people are going to say this about me or they're going to make this kind of judgment against me. Uh, and so I'm going to run from my story. That's a terrible life. That's a terrible way to live because you're always going to wonder, you're always going to feel like a fraud and you're always going to question. And quite frankly, if you're always running, you're always going to be exhausted. But there's peace and there's hope and there's strength and there's community when we share our stories, when we own our stories. So don't forget, you know, continue posting stories. It's been great to read some of those and see some of those on the Facebook group. Continue sharing those stories with us. Continue posting them along. Continue encouraging each other uh, in our stories. And let's continue journeying together as God leads us. Love you guys. Uh, I'll be gone tomorrow, and but I'll be back with you uh, later this month to continue our stories theme. See you guys then.